Uh, Fawad Ali is asking, did you hear Richard Dawkins' comments about it being immoral to bring a baby with Down syndrome into the world? Do you agree with him? Uh, I, I'll go first. I don't think it's immoral. I think it's kind of, yeah, I think it's a little stretched too far to say that somebody who decides to have a child with Down syndrome is being immoral um, because I think there's, there's, it's a debatable question. There's a lot of arguments for it. I think it's uh, irresponsible. I think it's um, probably not the uh, smartest thing to do. Uh, I think there, there are many other things. I wouldn't call it immoral, though. So I, I disagree with him when he says it's immoral. I, I, I don't think it's fair. I think it might be a little selfish. It's not fair. Um, I mean, to... these are just different ways of saying immoral. No, they're not. You can be irresponsible and not be immoral. He's selfish. You said selfish. You can be selfish and not be immoral. We're all selfish. What do you want me to do? If what I do treat you mean my... by immoral then? <laughs> huh? Like a... What do you mean by immoral then? Immoral, I think, is in the, the, the intentional an intention to do something that's not good. If you, right? It's a wrong. It's a very strong actually, word for this. I know, but you, when you say somebody's being selfish, you mean like they're caring about their own self interest. No, I, I don't I, think I do self. We think of selfish as a bad thing, but if I have like, if well, there's a fire, if there's a fire in a school and I go in terms. and my kid is in the school and there are five other kids in the school right, and I can only save off, one. We're getting off track. Can, do you I'll think be selfish that, and save my kid, but that's not that's, immoral. We're getting off track. Do you think a kid with Down syndrome can be happy? Yeah, that's sure. Why not? So why is it wrong to have a kid with Down syndrome? I don't, I don't understand. Why well, because uh, there's, I mean, they're happy, but they're, why is it responsible? Hmm. They're happy what? Hmm? They're well, happy I mean, what? They, they can be happy once you have a child with Down syndrome. You know, mm -hmm. you're going to love that child. You're going to have a lot of... Um... No, I'm not talking about you. Can they be happy? You, well, yeah, I mean, they're going to be happy, but they're going to suffer. Every okay. every living thing can Overall, be... Overall, can they have a net positive a life that was more happy than sad? Can they have a life filled with more happiness than misery? A kid with them. Yeah, well, the, the, yeah, of course they can. So what's wrong with it? I don't understand. I don't, understand I don't think, think it's just. I don't think it's just about happiness and misery. I think you have a short. No. You have a, Listen, you, it's the same thing. If you have Huntington's career, of course I care about it. Huntington's I, career is a devastating neurological disease that is going to hit you if you have the gene for it. It's going to hit you when you're forty, no matter what. It's autosomal dominant. Okay, you have medical geneticists. You put things together. You're like, okay, there's a chance that you can get Huntington's chorea. And those two people decide to adopt. They decide not to bring that kid in the world. Can somebody with Huntington's chorea be happy? Yeah, but we brought you into this world. But when you hit 40, you're going to be screwed. That's irresponsible. That's an irresponsible thing to do to anybody. Can they, is that the only, like, is it possible to make it so that they're overall yeah. happy? A higher happy rates of... Well, no, it's higher rates of, they have higher rates of leukemia, they have higher rates of disease, they have shortened lifespan. Wait, what have, are we talking about? Constantly... Okay, you, leukemia for, you're talking about that people with Down syndrome? I'm talking about people with Down syndrome, I'm talking about people with Huntington's chorea with, with... No, I'm, focus, let's focus on Down syndrome. Like overall, mm -hmm. these people, can they not, uh, over, is, it, is it really that hard to give them a life that is overall... Happy, yeah. is it? Well, is it really hard to give them a life like that? Yes, absolutely. It's very hard because mm -hmm. they need they need constant support. All right. right? I guess I don't. I, my hmm. response to this question is that I don't really know the details of what it's like to be Down syndrome, so I don't know the answer to this, and I also don't know Richard's uh, Richard Dawkins' arguments for this. Uh, I, you know, so I'm not like I'm just I, I have no idea. I don't know. Like mm. I, I think I need to do. Ali probably knows a lot more than me. Uh, I wish I had Ali's knowledge on this um, because my my calculation on utilitarianism is probably probably better than Ali's. But like, if I wanted to, <laughs> <laughs> if I wanted to analyze this, but I can't. Yeah, I, I don't think it's immoral though. Yeah, okay. I don't. I think you're. And I don't think definition. happiness is the only thing you should measure things by. But. Hey guys, if you want to join these streams live, get your comments and questions read by Ali and Armin and the guests, and most importantly, to get full access to the full video versions of all these episodes, become a patron. Link in the description below.